Hello, Community Schools of Frankfurt family. My name is Matt Rhoda, and I am the Community Schools of Frankfurt superintendent. As a school district, we have identified three goal areas to place our emphasis in deriving excellence from both students and staff. These goals are called the Community Schools of Frankfurt Pillars of Excellence. Our first pillar of excellence is the pillar of literacy. Our, we want our pre-K through eighth grade students to meet both achievement and growth goals. We believe readers are leaders and will ensure all students leaving our schools will contribute to the world because of their strong literacy background. Our second pillar of literacy is the pillar of community. We will provide such a great learning environment at our schools that we will attract and retain both students and staff. And our third pillar of excellence is the pillar of post-secondary expectations. The Frankfurt High School graduating seniors will provide before they walk across the stage in May their plan to enlist in the armed forces, enroll in a college or trade school, or have gainful employment. Each month, I will be hosting a town hall meeting produced by Mr. Richard Salee and students at Frankfurt High School on the Hot Dog Network. This year, I will feature a principal from one of the community schools of Frankfurt buildings to share their highlights of the pillars of excellence. We will also capture student responses from random questions from the superintendent in a town hall segment called Roaming with Rhoda. The town hall will not be complete without some Frankfurt historical facts, legends, and myths from a segment called Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. Today I have with me Mrs. Cindy Long, principal at Frankfurt High School. Mrs. Cindy Long, welcome to the Superintendent How Town Hall meeting. Thank you very much. Now, Mrs. Long, how long have you been the principal here at Frankfurt High School? This is my fifth year as principal here. And were you a principal before you came to Frankfurt High School? This is my first role as a principal. I was the assistant principal here prior to becoming the principal, and I also spent a year at Western High School as their assistant principal. Now, Mrs. Long, what, what might be one tidbit of information that might surprise people about you, that people might not know about you? I think people might not realize how long I've been with Frankfurt. So uh -huh. I um, graduated as a hot dog okay. in 1996. Okay. Yeah. I um, then came back after attending Indiana University and taught English here for uh -huh. 16 years. Okay. And then I moved on to the assistant principal role and now to principal. Just a lifelong hot dog. Absolutely. Huh? All right. We, we love to have the lifelong hot dogs. Well, we will be right back after Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. Thank you, Dr. Rhoda. Welcome to Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts, Myths, and Legends. In today's episode, I'd like to talk about our mascot, the Frankfurt Hot Dog. To me, the Frankfurt Hot Dog represents grit, perseverance, integrity, and fight. Did you know, prior to the 1940s, we were not the Frankfurt Hot Dogs? In fact, we had three different sport teams represented by three different names. Our baseball team was referred to as the Blue Sox. Our basketball team referred to as the Fighting Five. And our football team was referred to to the Nighthawks. Why the Nighthawks, you ask? Well, we were once one of the only schools in Indiana to have lights at their football field in order to have games in the evening. That's it for Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. Until next time, hot dogs. Welcome back. I, I hope you enjoyed Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. Uh, we bring those to you each month. You'll always be surprised at uh, the things you do know and the things that you do not know about Frankfurt. And some of them are myths, some of them are legends, and some of them are truths. So I hope you enjoyed that little segment. Mrs. Long, what I'd like to ask you is, you know that we have our pillar, goal, pillar of excellence goals, and at Frankfurt High School, you're focused on all three of those goals too, in literacy, community, and post-secondary expectations. Can you tell our, our viewers how you at Frankfurt High School are addressing those three goals? Absolutely. Literacy is obviously always at the forefront of our mind. We've continued this year with our Newzella platform, mm -hmm. which allows us to provide high interest reading opportunities for our students, not only at their reading ability level, but also at grade level, which increases their um, sustainability as a reader. Mm. 
So that's great. We yeah. focus on that program in science, social studies, and in language arts to ensure that all students have multiple opportunities to use that platform. And it works really well in helping our readers grow. Um, we also know that our juniors this year are doing a great job of utilizing some of the new high interest reading material that we've purchased in the library. Mm. So lots of good traffic in the library to keep literacy at the forefront of our minds. Love it. And then finally, we're also thinking about ourselves as writers by focusing mm. on thinking about how we use writing, not only in the classroom, but in, in real life and looking for writers that look like us, sound like us and are from our generation. Great. How about Pillar of Community? What are you doing to address that goal? Yes, the Pillar of Community is always one of our favorite things to do because it makes us all feel so good. Right. So we continue this year with our Hot Dog of the Week. They're earning penance and um, looking at their lockers outside. We can see all of the students and staff that have been recognized as Hot Dogs of the Week. Um, our volleyball team took it upon themselves last week to have their very own Teacher Appreciation Night where I they highlighted teachers from across our district that have made differences in their lives. Mm. Such an awesome thing to be able to highlight yeah, what a great K idea. through 12 yeah. teachers and people that are making an impact. And then obviously we can't forget our music students who perform everywhere they go, it seems. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, but it, interesting this year, they picked up some of the farmer's markets oh. on Saturday mornings. Okay. And also just this past weekend, the Hispanic Heritage Festival. Oh, great. And our ultimate goal in the community schools of Frankfurt, post-secondary expectations, what we want Absolutely. our students to be able to get out of their time here in Frankfurt. Right. One of our most exciting new developments that just came about at the end of last week is our early childhood education students are now able to take that course for dual credit. Hmm. So if this is something that they truly want to pursue after high school, they are already earning college credits toward that degree. Wow. Okay. making not only it a, a good investment in their time, but also a great investment financially as well. Great. We also know that um, the collaboration of Mr. Salee and Mr. Taylor, um, hopefully next time we might be able to use their new studio to think about talk shows and the way that they're able to incorporate so many different areas of broadcasting, whether it comes to writing and editing and lighting and and just thinking about how we can highlight our community kind of ties all of those pillars into one. Just an example of this studio today that we're in. Absolutely. Being able to, students have access to this. Great. Right. Well, thank you, Mrs. Long, for sharing all Absolutely. three of those. Just some exciting things happening at in the hallways and in the classrooms at Frankfurt High School. And so great to talk to you today. Thank you. And our next segment is called Roaming with Rhoda. And we will finish on that each time where you'll be, we'll be in the hallways of Frankfurt High School asking kids random questions. And it's fun to hear their responses. So uh, until next time, next month, I'll we'll have Mrs. Kelly Berenda with me from Frankfurt Middle School. Be excited to be able to have Mrs. Berenda share the great things happening at the middle school. Until then, have a great rest of your week and month. Thank you. All right. Would you be able to come over and answer a question for me a second? Just real quickly, yes. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda, and what I'd like to ask you today is what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to own my own dance studio. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Money maker, you know, just uh, all right. like a successful business businessman, you know. All right, yeah. Super. Thank you very much. All right, come, come on over. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? A teacher. Oh, what a great profession kindergarten, for kindergartners. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, a firefighter or a cop. All right. Thank you very much. Come on. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, when I grow up, uh, I hope I can be someone that I like to be comfortable. Like, personally, me just being with myself, and that's pretty much it. What, do you, what, do you, what kind of profession would that look like when you grow up? What, what, what kind of uh, career would that look like? Um, I don't know, something that I'm interested in and something that I love. You know, like something that I wouldn't mind doing every day, and pretty much that's it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.
Come on over. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What career, what would you like to do when you grow up? I'd like to be an aeronautical engineer. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yes. Yeah, come here. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda with the uh, superintendent. And I'd like to ask you, what would you like to do when you grow up? What kind of career do you want to be in? I want to be a behavioral health nurse. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. How about, do you want to try it? Come on over. You're on, a, you're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be an entrepreneur. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, an artist. That's what I want to be. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. You too. All right. Come on over. Come on. Come on over. You're, you're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? I am going for music education. Oh, a teacher. Thank you. All right. Great. Thank you. Come on. Yep. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to travel the world and take pictures. All right. Photographer. Maybe National Geographic, huh? Yeah, something along those lines. All right. Thank you. All right. Yes, all right. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? I want to be a sports broadcaster. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hello. You're on a segment called Roaming with Rhoda. What would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, computer science. All right. Thank you very much.